Hello, I'm John Prendergast, clinical hypnopsychotherapist. In my private clinical practice, I specialize in anxiety and trauma. Anxiety is something I know very well because I used to suffer with chronic anxiety for over 30 years. So I'm going to talk a bit about what's actually going on in the brain when somebody is anxious. Now anxiety is really just a clinical word for worry. When someone has chronic anxiety, it means that they tend to worry excessively about small things, things that the average person in the street wouldn't give a second thought to, can just become obsessive or intrusive and just create worry for somebody who is anxious. Now, what's going on in the brain whenever we worry is that whatever has come to our attention has been noted by a part of the brain as being in some way a minor danger or a threat to us. And it elevates our perception of that so that we pay attention to it. One of the ways that the brain gets us to notice this perceived danger is that it sends a signal to our stomach, grabbing us by the guts, literally. That's where we get this feeling of butterflies or tightness in the stomach from when we worry. Now there's actually a very positive evolutionary function being carried out here. If something is a genuine threat, you want to make sure that you're aware of it completely. You'd want your brain to physically grab you by the guts to make sure that you're noticing any danger in the area at a time like that. The difficulty is, when somebody has anxiety, things that don't require us to actually worry about them still activate the worry response, and that creates an emotional stress within ourselves. It puts pressure on the body, it results in such things in the long term as irritable bowel syndrome, where we might have a pressure to go to the toilet when we're worrying, or we might find that we have flatulence or even diarrhea over long-term periods where we're very stressed or worried. Another area that tends to hit people in is their sleep. Often a person with worry or anxiety would take upwards of an hour to fall asleep at night. And they wouldn't have to be worrying about something in particular. It could just be a huge amount of mental activity where the brain just doesn't quite shut off. It keeps running things through and keeps you distracted and keeps you awake. Other people's sleep disruption would be in the form of waking during the night. Other areas that would be affected would be the short-term memory. Stress has a very powerful effect on short-term memory, and it can lead to very absent-minded behavior, such as walking into a room and wondering why you went in there, or not remembering where you left your keys or your mobile phone down. Just those sort of casual, absent-minded things. Other aspects of anxiety would generally be a tendency to second-guess yourself, you have to psych yourself up maybe to make phone calls to people you didn't know. Some people would find going out with even friends to be difficult. Going out with a group of strangers would often arouse considerable feelings of fear and anxiety. Very often people would avoid behavior like that if they were worried about it. The tendency to worry about what other people were thinking about us is a very common aspect of chronic anxiety. So in all of these cases it's just that the brain is taking a wrong signal essentially, it's taking something that isn't dangerous and applying the attributes of danger to it and then activating the self-defense systems of the body so that we're in a more stressed position. Now if we were genuinely in danger, we'd want all of that stress hormone in our body to be able to run faster and to fight better, but just by allowing it to continue on a day-to-day -day low level basis, it can have quite a damaging effect on our bodies and on our health in the long run. The good news is anxiety is very treatable. There are a lot of really good things you can do about it. And the success rates for treating chronic anxiety are very high. For more information, you can go to johnprendergast.ie or contact me directly on 085 13 13 700. Thank you very much.